Thus says the Lord, Keep you judgment and do justice, for my salvation is near to come and my righteousness to be revealed. Blessed is the man that does this, and the son of man that lays hold on it, that keeps the Sabbath from polluting it, and keeps his hand from doing any evil. Neither let the son of the stranger that has joined himself to the Lord speak, saying, The Lord has utterly separated me from his people. Neither let the eunuch say, Behold, I am a dry tree. For thus says the Lord unto the eunuchs that keep my Sabbaths, and choose the things that please me, and take hold of my covenant. Even unto them will I give in mine house, and within my walls a place, and a name better than of sons and of daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Also the sons of the stranger that join themselves to the Lord, to serve him, and to love the name of the Lord, to be his servants, every one that keeps the Sabbath from polluting it, and takes hold of my covenant, even them will I bring to my holy mountain, and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon mine altar, for mine house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. The Lord God, which gathers the outcasts of Israel, says, Yet will I gather others to him, beside those that are gathered unto him. All you beasts of the field, come to devour, yes, all you beasts in the forest. His watchmen are blind, they are all ignorant, they are all dumb dogs, they cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber, yes, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough, and they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, every one for his gain from his quarter. Come you, say they, I will fetch wine, and we will fill ourselves with strong drink, and tomorrow shall be as this day, and much more abundant. The righteous perish, and no man lays it to heart, and merciful men are taken away, none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. He shall enter into peace. They shall rest in their beds, each one walking in his uprightness. But draw near here, you sons of the sorceress, the seed of the adulterer and the whore. Against whom do you sport yourselves? Against whom make you a wide mouth and draw out the tongue? Are you not children of transgression, a seed of falsehood, inflaming yourselves with idols under every green tree? slaying the children in the valleys, under the cliffs of the rocks. Among the smooth stones of the stream is your portion. They, they are your lot. Even to them have you poured a drink offering. You have offered a meat offering. Should I receive comfort in these? Upon a lofty and high mountain have you set your bed. Even there went you up to offer sacrifice. Behind the doors also, and the posts, have you set up your remembrance, for you have discovered yourself to another than me, and are gone up. You have enlarged your bed, and made you a covenant with them. You loved their bed where you saw it, and you went to the king with ointment, and did increase your perfumes, and did send your messengers far off, and did debase yourself even unto hell. You are wearied in the greatness of your way. Yet said you not, there is no hope. You have found the life of your hand, therefore you were not grieved. And of whom have you been afraid or feared, that you have lied, and have not remembered me, nor laid it to your heart? Have not I held my peace even of old, and you fear me not? I will declare your righteousness and your works, for they shall not profit you. When you cry, let your companies deliver you, but the wind shall carry them all away. Vanity shall take them, but he that puts his trust in me shall possess the land and shall inherit my holy mountain and shall say, cast you up, cast you up, prepare the way, take up the stumbling block out of the way of my people. 
For thus says the High and Lofty One that inhabits eternity, whose name is Holy, I dwell in the high and holy place, with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit, to revive the spirit of the humble, and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. For I will not contend forever, neither will I be always wroth, for the spirit should fail before me, and the souls which I have made. For the iniquity of his covetousness was I wroth, and smote him. I hid me, and was wroth, and he went on forwardly in the way of his heart. I have seen his ways, and will heal him. I will lead him also, and restore comforts unto him and to his mourners. I create the fruit of the lips. Peace. Peace to him that is far off, and to him that is near, says the Lord and I will heal him. But the wicked are like the troubled sea, when it cannot rest, whose waters cast up mire and dirt. There is no peace, says my God, to the wicked. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. Yet they seek me daily, and delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteousness and forsook not the ordinance of their God. They ask of me the ordinances of justice. They take delight in approaching to God. Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and you see not? Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and you take no knowledge? Behold, in the day of your fast you find pleasure and exact all your labors. Behold, you fast for strife and debate and to smite with the fist of wickedness. You shall not fast as you do this day, to make your voice to be heard on high. Is it such a fast that I have chosen, a day for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush, and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? Will you call this a fast, and an acceptable day to the Lord? Is not this the fast that I have chosen, to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that you break every yoke? Is it not to deal your bread to the hungry, and that you bring the poor that are cast out to your house? When you see the naked, that you cover him, and that you hide not yourself from your own flesh. Then shall your light break forth as the morning, and your health shall spring forth speedily, and your righteousness shall go before you, the glory of the Lord shall be your re-reward. Then shall you call, and the Lord shall answer. You shall cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If you take away from the midst of you the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, and speaking vanity, and if you draw out your soul to the hungry, and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall your light rise in obscurity, and your darkness be as the noonday. And the Lord shall guide you continually, and satisfy your soul in drought, and make fat your bones. And you shall be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water, whose waters fail not. And they that shall be of you shall build the old waste places. You shall raise up the foundations of many generations, and you shall be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwell in. If you turn away your foot from the Sabbath, from doing your pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord, honorable, and shall honor him, not doing your own ways, nor finding your own pleasure, nor speaking your own words, then shall you delight yourself in the Lord, and I will cause you to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed you with the heritage of Jacob your father for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue has muttered perverseness. None calls for justice, nor any plead for truth. They trust in vanity and speak lies. 
They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. They hatch cockatrice's eggs and weave the spider's web. He that eats of their eggs dies, and that which is crushed breaks out into a viper. Their webs shall not become garments, neither shall they cover themselves with their works. Their works are works of iniquity, and the act of violence is in their hands. Their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity, wasting and destruction are in their paths. The way of peace they know not, and there is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked paths. Whosoever goes therein shall not know peace. Therefore is judgment far from us, neither does justice overtake us. We wait for light, but behold, obscurity. For brightness, but we walk in darkness. We grope for the wall like the blind, and we grope as if we had no eyes. We stumble at noonday as in the night. We are in desolate places as dead men. We roar all like bears and mourn sore like doves. We look for judgment, but there is none. For salvation, but it is far off from us. For our transgressions are multiplied before you, and our sins testify against us. For our transgressions are with us, and as for our iniquities, we know them. In transgressing and lying against the Lord, and departing away from our God, speaking oppression and revolt, conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood, and judgment is turned away backward, and justice stands afar off, for truth is fallen in the street, and equity cannot enter. Yes, truth fails, and he that departs from evil makes himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. And he saw that there was no man, and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore his arm brought salvation unto him, and his righteousness it sustained him. For he put on righteousness as a breastplate, and a an helmet of salvation upon his head. And he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing, and was clad with zeal as a cloak. According to their deeds, accordingly he will repay fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies. To the islands he will repay recompense. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion, and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, says the Lord. As for me, this is my covenant with them, says the Lord. My Spirit that is upon you, and my words which I have put in your mouth, shall not depart out of your mouth, nor out of the mouth of your seed, nor out of the mouth of your seed's seed, says the Lord, from henceforth and forever.